We're pulling out the fire axe for this one. There's too many zombies. Alrighty guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid, and today we are back with my boy Kyle Smith, and today I think we're going to be heading back into the small town and clearing out some more zombies for this episode. Now, I want to do at least one or two more episodes of me clearing out the nearby population before I get into the real in-depth stuff like um, dismantling radios and such to level up my experience, because right now our uh, skill distribution is looking a little bit skewed towards the combat and athletic side of things, so I'd like to get at least my carpentry and electrical up just a little bit more, and maybe our mechanics too, because there are some nice vehicles down in the town. So, um... As soon as I left off, I basically ran home, put the fridge in front of the doorway for safety, and I threw everything in a cupboard, and yeah, that's literally it. I went to sleep, and here we are. So, um, one other thing I want to mention before I fast forward me, I'm actually running all the way down, which is probably going to take a little bit. Um, I've been experimenting with the audio, just fidgeting with it a little bit, and if you guys think it sounds better, be sure to say it down below, because, uh... Yeah, I just want to know your opinion on the thing. Alright, so let's get started. Alrighty, everyone. Uh, we made it pretty close to the town, so I'm probably going to stop it here. And I think we might need to head into a nearby building for loot, because I am a little bit hungry, and um, I forgot to pack a little snack on the way, and I was kind of banking on me finding a nice old bag of chips or something in one of these homes that I'm going to be coming across. So, um, I think... Our grocery list for today is always food, but most importantly, I want a gas canister so I can start to transfer gas from the unusable vehicles to the better vehicles. Also, we're using our wood axe again because uh, we went through a lot of hatchets and the wood axe is the best for uh, durability. So we're going to be using it. It does exhaust us a little bit more, but the durability on this bad boy is basically endless. I mean, this thing can chop through zombies like nothing. And, uh, populations definitely increase, and I think a lot of this is because of, uh, the hordes we were fighting earlier. We really didn't take out most of them, so they're coming back to bite me in the butt. We should be able to take them out in, uh, relative ease. So, it's not too much of a problem, it's just, man, the amount of zombies here is... Ooh, I, I whiffed that so bad. <laughs> Don't want to whiff swings right now. There we go. I mean, the wood axe is still a great weapon. It is absolutely phenomenal, actually. I mean, it just, it cleaves through them like butter. And the good thing is, now that we have so many hunting knives, is that once we start to do, uh, get a little bit more exhausted, we can just pull out these bad boys, because the insta-kill for these hunting knives actually doesn't require, um, strength. It's all, uh, RNGs. <laughs> or, I was about to say, RNGs is based. Which it is. Um... The actual kill animation doesn't rely on strength, so you could get as many uh, one-shot stabs with a knife as you want, no matter um, how screwed up your guy is, physically and mentally. Oh, the amount of the zombies here is absolutely insane, and I'm glad we're playing a lumberjack character. Though, to be honest, even if we weren't a lumberjack, I'd still take the wood axe. It's so good. It is so good. I mean, it's really nice to get back to your roots of using the good old wood axe, you know. There's that watch there, I want that for electricity skill, so I will go through the zombies again and grab that digital watch. There we go. Ah, I may mean, want to take a little bit, uh, a little rest after this, to be honest. We've been uh, really hammering down on the zombies recently. There we go. Never stood a chance. This place is absolutely filthy so far. I mean, just looking at this entire spectacle that I've done across the town, and there are still so many more zombies. Like, I feel like if I survive long enough around this town, things are going to look pretty ugly. I mean, they already do. It looks like an actual landfill here. Just absolutely horrible conditions. Oh, you, you're still alive. Okay, kind of scary. There we go. Took her out. Okay, we got a lot of undead Zed heads right here. Yep, you're getting pretty close. We'll take you out. I mean, the great thing about this axe 
is it's just stopping power. All it takes is one good swing and they are out of the count. So it's really nice to rely on this to make sure the zombies are never getting back up. There we go. Alright. That was scary. Um, I had a pretty close call there. Holy hell. <laughs> that was... That, that could have been a game ender. Okay, I need to really concentrate. I'm getting too complacent and I'm getting way... Just, I'm getting too comfortable killing zombies. I need to... I need to stop being so confident. Um, wow. I didn't want to, like, say anything when it happened just because I was in sheer shock. I thought it might have been delayed, but thankfully, um... This time, we have not gotten bit. And I think it makes up for the one glitch uh, death I had in uh, Season 2 and the one pipe zombie where he did, like, a 360 bit me in the back. But... Yeah, I you know, I should be bit right now. That was stupid on my part. Um, I got way too confident this episode, and I started not looking to my back, and I started relying on my hearing a lot more, which, um, if you guys ever, like, pick up on my combat, I almost always look behind me, and this is one of the times I didn't look behind me, and if I did, I didn't react to, like, the couple of zombies that were actually coming up on me. So, yeah. Um, I think that's a nice reality check, because I might be good, like, right now, but all it takes is one mistake, and that could have been the mistake. So, I just need to get back on track, because I will talk myself to death if I do uh, get carried away. So, yeah, time to look backwards, because I don't want to fucking die right now, I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of emotional attachment to this guy. He's an absolute OG. There we go. But, yeah, yep, gotta, gotta remember to look behind me. I'm breaking my own rules at this point. I even put him in the video, man. Okay. Uh, I think we already looted this home. But we'll double check just to be sure. No, we did not. There we go. Let's just shut that real quick. I don't want any zombies coming up. Looks like uh, the old schoolboy has seen me. Ooh, vitamins. That's actually super useful. Okay. Come on, buddy. Here comes another. There we go. Okay. Um, anything in your school bag? Nope. And no. Let's grab this tweezers, too. Let's actually take a couple vitamins right now. Take our Flintstone gummies. Absolutely delicious. They should actually reduce hunger a little bit. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, there we go. Just to reduce our fatigue a little bit, because we are going to get super fatigued from fighting zombies all day. Then uh, just walking around and looting. Okay, let's see if we can find some food in here real quick. Dwine is actually really useful, so we will keep that. Oh, here we go. Let's eat uh, the entire melted ice cream pot, because I think we are actually... Yeah, we're losing weight, so <laughs> let's, let's bulk right back on up, shall we? That should... Oh, wow, we're still losing. Okay, I thought that would have at least set us up, but it's good that we're losing because that means we're staying at, like, at a constant uh, pace. So that's nice. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, looks like we got around four down here still. So we will continue taking them out, as usual. Yeah, but... I still need to drill through my head to always watch behind me. And I thought there was a zombie going to those trees, so that's why I started walking back a little bit more. Um, now I'm just getting super paranoid. But I would rather be super paranoid and take everything really, really seriously than uh, start to be complacent with uh, my current condition and get a good old chomp in the back of the head. You know, um, if it's super paranoid or super chillax, I'm probably going to take paranoid. Because Paranoid Survivors are the longest living. Alright, you gotta double check things. Not- no, no, no. You gotta triple check things at this point. Alright, we seem to be good here. We are getting a little bit exhausted, so I might need to take a little, uh, breather.
Okay. Uh, I guess we can take it right here. I mean, we've been making pretty good progress. Let's go check the condition of our, um, wood axe right now. Okay. Still really great condition, but, um, I think the problem is, is I was so used to the fire axe just dealing absolute DPS, so I'm not used to the more, um, a rhythm-based combat of the wood axe, because with the wood axe, you really have to get the attack speed down to a T, or else you might, uh, die. But with the wood axe, you're just able to do those rapid side swings and absolutely tear through, uh, groups of zombies. But, uh, the wood axe definitely has a lot more stopping power. To be honest, I'd compare it to, like, a 9mm and 45, uh, pistol caliber. You know, the 45 definitely has a lot less, uh, say ammo count or swings when we're talking about melee but it has a hell of a lot more stopping power and is able to put down the target but with the nine millimeter you're able to put a lot more bullets down range before the you know attacker gets to you which is swings with the fire axe so uh yeah they are both great weapons in their own respects but i'm a big fan of the fire axe just because of how fast you can throw out those swings you know Okay, let's take this super cautiously. I do not want to end up as zombie chow. I've already had a close enough call, and I really don't want another. Uh, I don't think we've been bitten or scratched yet. I know we've ran into a tree and got the, like, normal cut, but that doesn't really count. Uh, no, nothing really good for us right now. Okay, so the house is clear. Um, a lot of frying pans and saucepans. Can opener? We'll take it. We actually needed that pretty bad. Ooh, okay. Nice little haul here. Got some non-perishables. I always gotta, always gotta love them. Okay, and some canned peas. Let's actually fill up our water bottle right now. Just so we remember to never run out of this. Because water is a hot commodity in the apocalypse nowadays. Especially since it's six months later and, uh... It's uh, basically a non-renewable resource uh, when you're in cities. Of course, you can always go to, say, a river or stockpile it from rain. But that's dirty water. Um, non-perishable water is now um, pretty rare. Ooh, fingerless gloves. Okay. I mean, they're yellow, but they're still fingerless gloves. Or hobo gloves, as I like to call them. <laughs> oh, if we could get a gray pair of uh, fingerless gloves, I would be a very happy man. Let's go check this vehicle, actually. I don't think we've checked this out. This is, um, about how far we got on the previous episode, so I don't know what it could be in this vehicle. Could work for all I know. Uh, clone eraser. Yep, nothing good. Okay, let's continue. I mean, we are making some pretty good work. I know that green truck down there works, so we always have an out, but I'd like to clear out some more of these zombies before we start to, uh, uh loot the surrounding areas and disassemble stuff another fire axe we've been getting a lot of fire axes fucking hell <laughs> okay he came out of nowhere i'm slipping up so bad right now okay let's just take it calm take it cool it's been a while since I've played Project Zomboid, and you guys could probably see that from the way I'm playing right now. I'm so sorry for you guys, uh, who are here for expert combat, uh, gameplay, because I've been slipping up quite a bit. Um, not gonna lie. That's my second strike. I think the third one, and I'm gonna be out, so. Yeah, that's fun. I'm really not looking forward to the third strike. It's only like 50 minutes into the video, not even that for you guys, because I cut out like quite a bit of it. Okay. We made it. Safe and sound. It's a good thing we are athletic because we were able to jog away very quick. And I gotta go grab that uh, hunting knife that I saw. I almost forgot about that. Let's chuck that in there. Uh, we'll take another vitamin. <laughs> we need to pop some pills after that old escapade. Whew. I like that. That could have been really bad. All right, let's go grab our rightful loot from these dead bodies. Yeah, I've been making a lot of mistakes. Ugh, I should not be making them. They're like super simple too. 
Now, where is my hunting knife? I swear I saw a hunting knife on one of them. Actually, it could have been the letter opener. Um, and the more that I think about it, I think it might have been just the letter opener. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, continue on down, I guess. It might be that one down there, though. I don't know. All I know is I saw something that looked like a hunting knife. And it's really hard to loot through all these zombies when there's so many... Oh, here it is. Okay, so we did get it. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, let's do a quick little survey. Police station. Ooh. Hey, hey. That don't sound too bad. The medical place? All right, all right. What's this? Um, let's go check it out. It is 4 p.m., so we might need to head back pretty darn soon. Bookstore. Oh, this is it. If I don't find my trapping magazine here, I will never find it ever. Okay, let's do a quick little clear of the area and uh, see what we got here. Yes, dude, this is exactly what I've been waiting for. Hey there, buddy. All right. That's ooh, farming for beginners. Uh, we actually uh, we'll take another book for it. We won't take as many, like, normal books right now. Uh, electronics magazine. First aid is for losers. Okay. Unless you're playing multiplayer, then it is a very, um, nice thing to have. If you're- if you guys are playing multiplayer when it does release... Oh, snare traps! Here we go! This is it. This is it. All of these nice, beautiful mechanics. Everything. We got absolutely everything here that we'd ever need. Oh, it's so nice to see this. We can make stick traps now, man. We, we can we can start to live off the fat of the land. Oh, I can't wait for hunting, though. Hunting is going to be one of my favorite uh, updates. Just because of the modding potential and... Um... And just the ability to actually, like, physically hunt the animals that you're tracking. I feel like that's going to be really cool. Tailoring, you know, I'll take it. I've never been one of a tailor, but I'm ready to pick up a lot of things since it is the apocalypse. All you have is time in the apocalypse. Okay, we're just gonna take all the basic skill mags and then continue on our little life. Hey, we can actually make dough and stuff out of the flour we have, so that's really helpful. Oh, so much good books here. Absolutely awesome. I'm glad we uh, stopped by this town because we really needed those um, trap making tool books. Okay, so it's still 450. We could head back at around probably I'm saying seven o'clock is a good time to head back. So we have a little bit of time. Um, the episodes are probably going to be shorter and shorter as, oh, not shorter and shorter, but they're probably going to be shorter than usual, like my 30 to 40 minutes, because I'm going to be cutting out a lot more of that, like, useless mumbo jumbo, say, me reading books for an entire day, or me disassembling furniture for an entire day, because it's going to start to get a little mundane now that we've, uh, to be honest, we're still in the early game. Let's be honest, we are still looting towns because we desperately need it bad. So many zombies. I'd like to check out the, um... Police station before we head out, though, because you never know. We might get some nice weapons that I'll never use because of the sound consequence. But it, it's nice to have them around. Okay, let's head around to a more clear area right now. Just look at all of them. Ooh, <laughs> is that another pretty hand axe I see in one of your shoulders? Yes, it is. All right. We're pulling out the fire axe for this one. There's too many zombies. Okay. Um, my guy shoved when I meant to, uh... I'm just making so many fucking mis... I, I mean... Yeah, that was on me. I swung when it was way too close. And, uh, yeah. I can already tell I'm going to get grilled in the comments. Oh, man. <laughs> you know what? I'll accept the grilling with pride. Just got to take it uh, tongue in cheek. There we go. At least we can go check out the police station now. 
so many zombies in here. Let's head out real quick. Let them stream out. There we go. Alright, how many left? Two more. Okay. Nice. There we go. And you. Alright, we're actually going to take this water cooler with us because we really don't have a lot in terms of uh, weighted tools. So, uh, this water dispenser is basically a free sink and it has like a good 20 refills. So there's really no reason not to take it at this point. There we go. Wow, I can't believe this is open. Wow, is that all you get is uh, 44 magnum rounds? Oh, another... F Actually, we might take this ham radio. No, we're taking it. Um, Now, if I think... If I'm thinking what I'm thinking... I should be able to use this to... Here, we can test this out right now. Because I think I'm done with combat. I fucked up enough at this point. I want to see if this works. So let's, um... First of all, throw... Shoot, we can carry our woodix if we drop point two. We can leave the book here for now, or read it. Yeah, let's just read it, and then throw in our uh, woodx. And disable... Oh my god, is that actually going to attract zombies? Because I, sw I swear if it does, um... Oh, jeez. Ah, uh, stop. Okay. Let's actually disable that now. These alarms are going to kill me. Though, to be honest, I think I'm going to kill myself way before that. Uh, set alarm... Off. There we go. Okay. So, let us unequip this bad boy. And let's place it on the ground. Now, we, batteries might actually come in handy, though. We get those all the time from dis dismantling other objects. Alright. Let's see if this works. Device options. Turn on. Turn the volume all the way down. No, it doesn't have any of the presets. I'm going to go check out uh, this other uh, radio because there is a chance that we might actually be able to get the military channel. And I don't know if they're still up at this point. But um, a military channel with the weather is going to be a pretty big help. No, this has nothing either. So let's just uh, turn this off right now. I don't think we're going to get lucky. And to be honest, I think everything has been taken out. Though this is great. Um, uh, what's the wording for it? Great electrical um, training. Wait, hold on. The NNR radio. I think this might be our ticket. And it's it's a walkie-talkie, so we're going to be able to carry it. I think it's the NNR radio. So, we can just have this going for right now. And see if we can get any, um, uh... Okay, there are some zombies right now. Yep, we can leave that one later. Uh, let's just get out of here. I'm, I'm done here. Did we turn this off, though? I don't want to waste any more battery. Um, device options. Okay. Turn that off. I really hope this, uh, ha um, hand radio works, because if we get the military channel to work, then that means we start to, uh, get actual weather reports and, uh, maybe even upcoming meta events like the chopper, so... If it does predict everything correctly, this might be our good chance to prepare for big catastrophes like that. Anyways, uh, I'm probably going to end the episode here. It's been a pretty short 20 minutes, though I fucked up three times. Thankfully, the third time was not the charm. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm i probably just... Oh, man, there's so many zombies. They come back so quickly. I'm just going to deal with them later, but... I'm a, you know, I'm a little mad at myself. I feel like I could have did a little bit better, but... Uh, Hopefully, I will grow to be uh, better in the future. Um, I don't know if this radio is even going to work, but it was a nice chance. Any little hope that I did have has been probably squashed in the first month. By six months, I feel like Kyle Smith is nothing but a murdering machine. So, yeah. 
Well, I guess all the luck has uh, rubbed off in my other previous unlucky series, like my boy Paul. Um, if you guys know what happened to him, he got two glass shards in his feet and the helicopter event decided to come by and say hi. And I got promptly murdered. Um, my other stealthy character tried to swing on a zombie. The zombie did like a really weird like 360 and bit him from the back. Craig had a seizure um, mid-fight and just collapsed on the ground where he stood and promptly got ripped apart and joined the fleshy-eating hordes. So, um, Kyle got pretty lucky. He, he No, he really got lucky. Um, I don't plan to let that happen again. I, I'm probably going to talk myself to my death, though. So, yeah. Um, other than the three screw-ups, I... I feel like I killed quite a bit of zombies today. Um, we're up to 1,300 kills in 16 days. So we've beaten our, we've definitely beaten our previous record. But if you guys liked this episode, please like, favorite, share, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.